Admiral's log. The moment I've been dreading for the past year has finally arrived. We are being blockaded. The Austro-Hungarian Navy, although dwindling in number, has called our bluff. It seems that after a year, they've caught on to the fact that our navy is in fact not as numerous as we make it appear. Enemy battleships have positioned themselves in critical shipping routes. Any merchant vessel seen heading for our ports is immediately attacked. This is a critical situation. With the destruction of most of the enemy escort ships, you would expect our destroyers to be able to take the fight to the enemy capital ships with ease. Torpedo them from afar. This would be a fair assessment in normal circumstances. The enemy battleships are not normal though. They are armed with 46 8-inch guns. This is their secondary armament, as they also carry a main armament of 13-inch guns. 46 8-inch guns means that they carry the equivalent firepower of five of our heavy cruisers merely as a secondary armament. Our destroyers have reported a withering barrage of fire as they try to get into a favorable launching position for their torpedoes. And while our destroyers are fairly small and nimble, this will not keep them safe. The enemy battleships pump out such a wall of lead that sooner or later they will score a hit on our destroyers. The situation is dire. The only plan I currently have is to continue to eliminate as many Austro-Hungarian convoys as possible to make it impossible for the enemy admiral to stay in power. Their people will grow hungry. The fuel for their ships will run out and they will not have the required components to fix their warships. My destroyers might not be able to take on their battleships, but they sure as hell can sink convoys. Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome back. It's episode 9 of the Austro-Hungarian... No, sorry, of the Italian campaign. We're fighting the Austro-Hungarians. Uh, we're going to be fighting a lot of them, as we have a lot of missions, and we are being blockaded. Finally. Well, it's not like I was anticipating or looking forward to this particularly, but hey, um, we're going to have to fight this fight anyway. The objective is to sink as many of their battleships and battlecruisers as possible to reduce power projection, because currently... Their power projection is 17k versus my 2468. So, I'm going to need to do some damage against their fleet. This is not necessarily the type of fight that I want, but 60Ds against a light cruiser should at least have some destroyer able to get close enough. Even if those light cruisers are armed with 6 inch guns. Not what I want to have happen. It's not the fight that I want, but I need to sink essentially every single ship I can. Because I just need to get their power projection down. I need to break the blockade. And then, in the meanwhile, just keep hunting down their convoys as much as I can. So, if the Zephyro join the other group, enemy north. We're going to rush them from two sides, we're just going to torp them to oblivion. They have spotted me. I have a radar ping. Do I have a smoke screen? Yeah, here. 18, 19 clicks out. Okay, so their range is, what was it, 12, I think. Give or take some. It shouldn't be that hard. And we have a speed of 37 knots. We were using all of that speed to charge the enemy. They are probably going to be doing 32 knots. So essentially we're charging each other at almost 70 knots speed. Meaning that we're going to be closing the distance very quickly. There we go. They're now at 14 clicks. Ping. 13, 8. And they're shooting. Now this is when it's advantageous to have smaller divisions. So that one division takes fire. The other division does not. And the one that does not, does not need to use its smokescreen. If you want to micromanage this even more, you can just have the lead ship disengage from the division and only smoke that up. Once its smoke is up, you pull it back, you pull it to the, the let's say, the back of the division. Uh, here, let me show you. The Giuseppe is now coming under attack. So I'm going to detach the Giuseppe. I'm going to smoke that up. I'm going to let these guys keep going without smoke. And predict where he's going to go. That's about there. I know these light cruisers are very agile ships, so it's not like I'm able to easily 
get these guys torpedoed. I'm going to have to get close. And uh, it's not going to be very comfortable. Put AP pressure on them. semi armor piercing shells should be able to do a fair amount of work. There's your torpedo spread. That's cute. At least we know where it is. Not his entire spread, I don't think. Because they got those uh, two quintuple launchers. But that's not all. They carry more. Identification jumping up very quickly now. Angelo just launched a spread. They're flooding. Oh boy. Attach. You're going to have to turn harder than that, Sunshine. Full stop. You can keep going. Don't torp anyone. The Hohenems has taken some light flooding, but I doubt it'll kill her. At least she's forced to turn. Damage to the main gun, that's nice. Forcing a ship into a turn can really be beneficial. Because that way the guns are thrown off target. And as the guns are thrown off target, the ship cannot effectively engage you. At least briefly. There's another torpedo spread. Is that going for the Artiglieri? No, for the Bassini. Oh boy. Bassini is going to have some trouble here. Another spread. There's a triple spread. We're going to have to take this a bit slower. Slow. I think the Giuseppe might get hit. Just cannot turn fast enough. Two torps. Three torps! I ate all of them? Wow. Unexpected and undesired. Shit, there goes the Marcello. Oh boy. I'm fucking up here. People, make yourself useful. Oh, Hanems is now eating torps from the Giuseppe. Probably the Angelo is dead, but the light cruiser also dies. End the battle. <sighs> yeah, we saved all of them, even if it was with some cheese. But hey, I'm getting blockaded by an omnipotent AI fleet. I might as well cheese. Are uh, the Angelo Bassini medium damage? Really? You can fix that in two months. I applaud your ability. To fix ships. So what we got there? More transports. Light cruiser Filiberto Sparviero. And three destroyers going up against transports and the Feldkirch. Okay, that's one. Also, Fiat and Lamborghini against three transports and another heavy cruiser. And what's the other convoy? Yeah, that's that one. This one? Ah, battle cruiser. Yes. We're going to take this. It's the Regina, once again. Going up against Brigens, Pola, St. Johan, two destroyers and seven transports. Let's go. Crush their economy. They might have us blockaded, but I will have their convoy sunk. So we are not out of this fight. Absolutely not. And I have a lot of confidence in the Coty. She's a trained crew. This is a trained crew. I have my four inchers to deal damage against their convoy ships. This is going to be fun. Do we have a bear? How do you spot me before I spot you? Is your tower or your radar that much better than mine? Here. Coty, I'm going to use mostly to deal with transports. You're going to mostly deal with the escorts. Especially the heavy cruiser needs to go. That guy right there. That guy right there. Semi armor piercing, please. We can use the AP shells to pierce the heavy cruiser. I'm probably not going to have uh, too many overpens. The light cruiser against the heavy cruiser is not a good fight, so I'm going to keep those back a little. Uh, yeah, we're fairly decently positioned. I just need to know where the rest of the pings are coming from. I suspect it's over here. There. Okay, that's where the Coty is going to go. You're going to sort of keep your distance from this encounter. Wipe out the escorts, or at least draw the attention of the escorts with the Regina, and have the Coty flank and go right for the convoy. That's the plan. Yeah, these guys just started torpedoing the Regina. Wow, ricochet. Didn't expect it. Off of a heavy cruiser, that is. It's pretty much broadside to us now. Any hit, any hit. Oh, that's more like it. That could sink the destroyer. 
OT is coming under fire. I don't want that. Focus on the heavy cruiser, people. I don't care about the destroyer right now, because he's already spent his torpedoes. The heavy cruiser, with 6-inch high explosive spam, is more dangerous to me. OT. Perfectly fine. Excellent. That is some more hits. It's the DD. It's the secondaries, isn't it? 10, 8. No, we can't shoot that far. I hate that I have to run. I mean, the Regina can dictate speed. It's what she does. It's what she does very well, in fact. Using all of that 40 knot speed, if I desire it. Which I currently do not. Go T, time to turn. Detected more torpedoes. There, there, there. Come on. Was that seriously going to try to hit the heavy cruiser? Because that could have fooled me. That salvo looked pretty much aimed at the destroyer. Shoot. I need a hit. I can probably blow the Bregans away. Actually, switch to high explosive. And we might need to start changing direction a bit. I suspect that the heavy cruiser is going to have something to say with its torpedoes. Fairly soon. That is, if, in, if the half of the ship is not on fire. And one of their main turrets is cooked. Do it again. Yeah, you have some difficulty there. Good. The DD. Not a problem. You haven't torped me yet. There's the Pola. Sankt Johan. And the damage to Destroyer. This guy is getting hit by the 4-inch guns. That guy is not getting hit by the 8-inch guns. Go on. Go on. Go boom boom. And we wipe out the cruiser. No, not quite. But they're getting pretty badly damaged. Do we still have a return ping on the position of the convoy, please? Because the Coty has been able to just circumvent the entire enemy division. But now the question is, where's the convoy? Because if I leave matters to the Regina, she's going to wipe everything out within the next 15 minutes or so. She's been known to do that. Boom. Miss everything. Hello. Allow me to introduce myself. This is the Coty. And she is coming for you. Have fun. I don't need to manage you anymore. I do need to manage the destruction of the destroyer and the destruction of the heavy cruiser, which just sent torpedoes my way. Let's turn. I don't want to get hit. Especially as I'm blockaded, I need this ship more than ever. Merchant ship down. That's one. One of many. I'm going to take the A and B turrets quite a while to turn around. My pocket Yamato. I mean, it really is sort of a pocket Yamato in the sense that it has half the displacement, but the same 18-inch guns. Although she fires a vastly different type of ammunition. I don't want to get more than 10 kilometers away from the Pola, or closer than that to the Pola. Shoot this. Flooding. Good. Switch fire to the Pola. Secondaries and the sharpshoots if you have it. You? Doing okay? Having fun? Oh yeah, they're having fun. Good. Merchant ship down. It's two. I believe there were 11 in this convoy. The Bregans have you flooding. Excellent. We are still 10 kilometers out from the light cruiser. And their torpedo range is about 10. So I'm skirting the edge of their torpedo range and maintaining as much as possible my high explosive effective range. Sorry, my accuracy effective range, not strictly high explosive. High explosive doesn't really benefit if you're... Well, it does a bit. You're done. 
Sankt Johan. I need to keep one destroyer alive. I don't care which one it is, but I need to keep one alive to make sure that the uh, Coty can still do his murderous business. Another transport down. Why are you... Oh, crap. The Coty still hasn't been upgraded. The light cruisers are supposed to get two-inch guns atop of some of their turrets. She has not yet received that upgrade. So... Her firepower against the convoy is limited relative to what I thought it would be. Oh well. Doesn't matter. So here's a suggestion, Koti. How about you shoot the closest target first? Would that work for you? Does that get you a lot more accuracy? And then you can shoot the other guy. Deal? There we go. All right. Right back to the Regina. Sankt Johan still 10 clicks out and took a massive hit of flooding with an overpen. Which took 30% of the ship off. 30% of her buoyancy as well. Let's close the distance a bit more. Yeah, that looks like it's going to hit. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. structural down to 1%. She's probably going to flood. And if not, she would have burned to death. All right. Um, neither of you has any torpedoes left. Koti, how are we doing? Oh, we've already achieved 57% kill. So essentially mission complete, but I want to get more transports eliminated. Shoot this. Sad thing that the high explosive is out. Oh, you look like you've been hit pretty bad. Yeah, by an 18-inch shell. That's probably going to kill it. That last bit of flooding. Ceasefire on the secondaries. Ceasefire on the mains for now. Lika is down. 71% achieved. Temes. Not the last of them, is it? 86? Oh, it could be. 100. Okay. Fire when ready. Good. Now, my idea is to just cripple their economy, making them go into a vast deficit, and thereby forcing them to kick out their head of Admiralty. And if they do that, I think, twice, then the enemy immediately loses. Because the people essentially revolt against their admiral. It's a bit weird. I mean, you don't revolt against an admiral, I think. You revolt against the government at large. But hey-ho, this is what the game does. Or at least how I understand it. So, just maintaining uh, my massacre of enemy convoys is hopefully going to tip the scales in my balance. Well, tip the balance. What? Tip the scales in my, ba in my favor. There we go. Not in my balance. In my favor. There. Anyway, job done. Convoy eliminated. Heavy cruiser down. Two lights done. Two DDs done. Their fleet dwindles with every encounter. So does mine, to some extent. As I just lost a couple of destroyers. My economy is crashing. I'm minus 47 million in a month. It's because I'm saving, or sorry, repairing some ships. But I really cannot stop the repair of these ships. I don't want to. Well, maybe the Etna. Because the Etna still needs to get refit after she comes out of the repair. That's not really what I would like. Uh, we're going to have to save on crew training. And save on building new transports as much as possible. Oof. Also, having a battle cruiser in for repair is not really helpful. I can do this a few months, it, not very long. Let's go for the next convoy. The job is the convoy. The heavy cruiser is a side bonus. It's a nice side gig. Northeast, let's go. Plan. Have the DDs eliminate. And have the light cruisers... Well, maybe run away. Depending on how it's going to go. I know that those heavy cruisers are dangerous. To my destroyers and light cruisers alike. I'm going to have to be pretty picky here. Or maybe just kill the convoy and get out. So there is the heavy cruiser, 19 kilometers out. 
Convoy's far, far behind him. I really don't like this encounter. Because the light cruisers cannot do enough. The heavy cruisers too heavily armored. Um, you're going to retreat. Sparviero and Emanuele Filiberto are going to retreat. I'm going to have to get at least one destroyer past these guys. Past this cruiser. And then go to town on the enemy convoy. Hoping that it's not bristling with 3-inch guns. Because sometimes they carry 3, sometimes they carry 4-inch guns. Which is not great for the Fulmine or the sorry, Fucilieri. Which way are you going? Not sure. Are you distracted by the destroyers now? Yeah, he's definitely having a go with the destroyers. Um, 13 8, 13 3, 13 4. I'm considering torpedoing the guy. Let's slow you down. 33 knots. And the reason why I was checking the range is that I want fairly similar ranges from all my destroyers. Because if I got one like the, the full mean over here, which is too far relative, then they're going to spot the torpedoes from the, uh, I think, the Fucilieri. Oh, sorry, yeah, Fucilieri. And by that... Or 12, 11, 6, and 12, 8. It's not a great torpedo solution, but we're going to send it. That's 1, 2, 3. Ow. Now we're going to smoke. We're going to maintain our attack vector on the enemy convoy. I'm hoping the heavy cruiser doesn't turn too much. Because that will throw off my torpedoes quite a bit. And I hope it doesn't kill me, actually. That would be even better. She is making a slight poor turn. As she's trying to attack the destroyer group. Shit. Break up the group. I hope they're going to maintain their attraction there. Torpedoes here. Torpedoes there. Oh, hold on. Feldkirch messed up in her dodge. Threw off the guns for a bit. But all the torpedoes have missed. Crap. Go! Where's the convoy? Any pings? Anything? Because I do, every now and then, get a return from the destroyer, I think. There. Come on. Here? Good lord, that's 30 clicks out. 37 knots. You can do, what, 31? Seven clicks? Good lord, do you want to die? This is going to get pretty risky. She's not shooting yet, because she's still trying to get her guns on target. and She's about to do that now. I think the Fuccieri is her new favorite target. Range 7-7. Seven, seven. I can maintain... And potentially increase the distance from the full mean to the destroyer, to the cruiser. But it's going to get pretty dangerous. Seven and a half. What's your firing range? Twelve two. Flank speed away from the enemy heavy cruiser. Seven nine eight eight one eight two. 8-3, 8-4, She's turning. Okay, back to the convoy. Convoys are task. Convoys are mission. Go, 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 go. Range 10. Chances of them hitting are pretty poor. 2.2. Increase the flank. Flank. It's as much as you got, anyway. How far? 20, 25? 
There. 25. Okay. I'm going to pause recording here. I'll be back with you when the... Well, not when the smoke is lifted. But when I'm actually engaging that convoy. A good while later, we have finally found the convoy. And a full mine is engaging said convoy. It does not look like these guys are going to go without a fight. Because they do have guns. So, full mine is going to have to do a bit of fighting. It's not a problem. At least we know where the convoy ships are. And I can very swiftly put them down. Just another convoy butchery, so it isn't that spectacular to watch. So we're going to go right to the end screen. And here we go. The entirety of the convoy has been sunk. All my ships survived, and the heavy cruiser was left in disgrace. So, job successful. That's yet another convoy down for the count. And I believe there is one more out there. This guy. Three transports up against a heavy cruiser with the Fiat 12,000s, the upgraded one, and I got the Lamborghini. The Lamborghini, or the Lambo, is going to go right for the convoy, and the destroyer hopefully will get enough distraction from the enemy heavy cruiser by the virtue of the Fiat. That's the plan anyway. Uh, there's the enemy. Yep, right there. It's a bit of a trick if you don't know where the enemy is. Hit AI on, and they're going to give you a direct line towards the enemy, because they always try to engage as quickly as possible. So if you don't know exactly where they are, just charge. Just have the AI take control. Uh, this is the upgraded heavy cruiser, as opposed to the Etna from a few episodes ago, which was not able to deal damage. The Fiat 12000 has been upgraded, firing um, capped AP shells. And, on top of that, is capable of using torpedoes at short range, as well as, during her refit, having received more armor. Which will hopefully make her more sturdy against those 6-inch guns that the enemy keeps using. If they were to upgrade these things to 8-inch cruisers, these fights would be a lot more dangerous. Still the same old, same old. Still the 6-inch guns, still a torpedo launcher there. I believe that their heavy cruisers used to be carrying two torpedo launchers. But hey, it's just going to be the one. It's fine. I don't mind. I'm probably mistaking it for the light cruiser that they have. That does carry two fivers. The quad launchers. Throwing high explosive at them for now. Uh, I don't strictly need to get very close. So I got the better guns. Their accuracy is just as shit as mine at the moment. But their chance to pen... Probably worse. Don't hit the destroyer. I have places to be, and it's basically on the opposite side of you. So if you just let me pat, I'm gonna say if you just let me pass, that would be much appreciated. This is not that. Two engines out on the destroyer. Uh, I think I'm just gonna charge this guy down. I don't want to lose a destroyer, because replacing ships is very expensive. Especially another financial burden like that, when I'm already getting blockaded, is not something I need. Firing AP. It's extremely optimistic. With a 5.5% chance to pen. Bad choice. Now, they did torpedo me, but seeing as I don't actually see the torpedoes coming... I think they're not that big of a threat right now. What's your chance to pen me there? Half a percent. That's the upgraded armor. Comes to the main tower. Good start. You just torp me again with your starboard launchers. No, port launchers possibly. We need you to slow down to half speed. I need the ship far more maneuverable than what she's currently doing. Flooding, flooding again. Oh. That's really good. That's ammo detonation. I'm going to leave her crippled. Don't flood. I need your convoy first. I don't want you to sink yet. I'll be back for you later. Just, just sit there and, and be merry. I need a convoy to get to first. We're 20 clicks out. Yeah, 20 clicks out. How far can you... Nah. 18 knots. It's not that good. Your speed? Probably limited. 12 knots. 
might still be dropping as well. This is the vast difference between <clears throat> the Etna heavy cruiser and the same class, but the upgraded version of it, the Fiat 12,000. They just don't have a lot on me. I mean, this thing can barely touch me. 3%, only superstructure, essentially. Which is annoying if it gets damaged. It means you got a bigger repair bill. The ship's gonna have to go into dock again, but hey, it's not flooding. Not dealing damage to my guns. So let me take out the convoy and then come back to the cruiser. One dead convoy later and the Fiat is making its way back towards the damaged Shagged. Not exactly sure how to pronounce that. Um, the ship has taken all sorts of damage. Two of her engines have stopped working. Her conning tower has taken enough damage for the fire control to get damaged. The ship is listing to starboard. She is still a torpedo hazard. So it's not like I can completely ignore her. And I wouldn't be surprised... Yeah, there we go. Four times one underwater torpedo tubes. That's her uh, port's underwater launchers. She just ran out of those. That's nice. She's completely out of torpedoes now. But I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to see a line of torpedoes coming this way. Pretty soon as well. Um, Maybe sooner than I would like. And maybe much closer than I would like. That's the quintuple. So that's the five. There. That quintuple launcher. That's what I was facing. That did the launch that got so close. The ship is irreparably... Well, irrevocably lost. Unless she pulls an ammo detonation on me. I don't see any way that she's going to win this fight. How heavily armored are 6-inch guns? 4 inches of armor, tops. Go for AP. At this range I can pen that. 4 kilometers out? I can pen that. It's just that I might be able to ricochet off of it. Because ideally I just destroy their guns. Meaning that I don't have to face any return fire from the guns, but then again they still have the secondaries. 2 inches. More damage to main tower. Come on. Speed, 12.6. My speed, still 34. Perfectly fine. Flooding, that's going to slow them down more. Buoyancy dropping to 40, 42, 41. Damage to main tower. Still no damage to main guns at all. You disappoint me. Now, I am planning to do a torpedo attack, but my ship is so badly damaged on this side, I don't even know if my launcher still works. I think it might. I think it might be functional. Okay. Let's get in there, because at this speed, this thing is going to be extraordinarily agile. And if I launch now, it will find a way to dodge. So we're going to come alongside, shout insults at the crew, and torpedo the thing into submission. Still trying to turn. Oh, maybe she doesn't need a torpedo. Whatever. Even if she doesn't, here, I have a torpedo. I got them. You need them. Well. There you go. Ship done. So, that was a single handed exercise with a Fiat, which is flooding and took some fairly substantial damage toward the end of that battle, but not as bad as their heavy. Another convoy crippled. I don't know how they're still funding that expedition of theirs, all those battleships. Because this must get expensive. Five battleships, four heavy cru sorry, four battle cruisers, ten heavy cruisers. I don't know how they're funding it. Um, and I also don't know exactly how they're able to still justify the war, seeing as I have more than three times the victory points. I also have a problem with my monthly spending. And short of just cutting, well, everything, there's not that much that I can do about it. Uh, yeah. Let's hope I don't lose any more transports. New battle coming up, and this is what I'm going to leave you with. This is what we're going to do next. The Ferrari F1, with a whole bunch of destroyer friends and a light cruiser, going up against a heavy cruisers Mödling and Wolfsburg. 
Sharpish is a D21 and 40 are also out there. Not that much concern about those. These guys, six inch guns, need to go. It's power projection, it needs to get killed. But next time. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Let me know what your thoughts are, and I'll see you soon for more.